Hey guys, it's me, Creator. And yes, you read the title correctly. Today's video is about blackouts and babysitting. I know it's a weird combination of two things, but these things both happen to me on the same day. Crazy, right? Anyway, let's get on with the video. So one school night, I was just sitting in my bed, trying to sleep, but I couldn't. By the way, I'm not sure if you know this, but I have a really hard time sleeping. Like, I don't fall asleep until about an hour after I get in bed. Anyway, later while I was trying to sleep, I heard rain. Not your average light shower with a full-on storm just at our house in the blink of an eye. But somehow, I managed to sleep through all of it. But when I woke up, the lights were out. I tried flicking the lights on and off. Nothing worked. So later on in the day, I asked my dad when is the power going to come back on. And my dad said it might not come back on for a couple of days. And despite me getting only five hours of sleep and going through a blackout, Grandma still made her mission to get me to school. Hashtag Relentless Grandma. So that was interesting. Now let's get into the second part of the story, the babysitting. So after school, I heard that my grandma's friend, who we'll call Elle, had power at her house. And I really wanted to go cause, come on, it was either stay at home and get bored to death or watch some TV at Elle's house. But it didn't go as planned. Instead of going to Elle's house, we ended up going to my school's park, which was fine by me. Also, Elle had two nephews, who we'll call J and A. A is in preschool, and J is in the first grade. So we went to the park, and J said he wanted to play on the swings. So we did. Later, J wanted to play on the tire swings. I said I'd catch up with him. Later, I looked to see if J was already at the tire swings. But he wasn't there. He was still on the swings. But A, though, he left. I looked over at the playscape and saw him. So we went there instead. Also, on the playscape, there is a giant blue pole at the top you can slide down. We went down once or twice, and then Jay said he wanted to do it, but with a twist. Jay said instead of taking the pole down, he was going to skip the pole and jump down. I told him that was an awful idea, so he didn't. He said he was going to jump down the side you climb up. I told him not to do that either, but A wanted to go too, and just before I could get up there to tell them to stop, A had just kicked J off the top of the playscape. But thankfully, J was okay. But A, I told his auntie and he wasn't allowed to play for a while. So later, near the swing, I saw three guys who we'll call Blue Shirt, Gray Sleeves, and White Boy. And we were just over there playing around. Also, there's a bunch of little poles that kids could climb on, so Blue Shirt said he could do a backflip on one of those poles, but he wanted Gray Sleeves to step back. Gray Sleeves just wanted to stay and watch, so when Blue Shirt tried to do the backflip, he fell on his face. And he said it was Gray Sleeves' fault because he's bad luck. Now, I don't believe in good or bad luck charms. In fact, I don't really believe in luck at all. I believe that luck is the chance of one thing is going to happen or another, and there is nothing that you can add or take to change that. So that's how we got into a big argument about luck. It even got so intense that one time he told his friend to go get his brick. But eventually, we had to go home. But since the car's engine wasn't working properly, Elle let us go back and play some more. Oh, blue shirt. <laughs> but after a bit more arguing, the engine was fixed and we headed home. So yeah, that's my weird tale of two things that probably don't go together. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.